It's Max from the Max Creation. Welcome to this channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about delivery or what we call the bike delivery or delivery jobs here in Qatar. It may not be in Qatar, but also it may be in what we call the Gulf countries. What did you expect? What small hint do you need to understand? What are the basics that you need to understand before you take up these jobs? Yes, there are a lot of opportunities around with the delivery boys, delivery jobs in Qatar, in the Gulf countries. But in this case, we are going to talk about Qatar itself. What do you need? What are the requirements? Or what exactly are you going to expect as you go to that job? Well, remember, when you join some of these delivery companies, it depends on which kind of company that you join. The those that pay a little bit higher, like the those that pay a little bit slightly higher, depending on what kind of magnitude that company is. When I'm talking about magnitude, I'm talking about this scope. How big is that company? And how, what is the coverage of that company uh, uh, within the different areas? The those that have very many clients at time, so you expect at the end of it all, it's going to give you exactly what you need. Because this is a world of competition. This is a world of service. And the one with a good service, the one with a better service, takes it all. And that is what normally happens with uh, with uh, jobs or what happens with the companies that are recruiting people to know. And But something that you need to remember, still something that you need to know, that in most of these Gulf countries, they give opportunity to all companies and these companies to showcase their customer care and their services to the client and who takes it all here yeah, at the end of it all will take it at that time so let us try to look at what we call delivery jobs or delivery companies in Qatar. how do they work how do they pay that is what we need to know and what are you or what do you expect first of all when you look at some of these companies these are different companies good enough i got to an opportunity to discuss it out with one uh, supervisor or one one person in a, a one company that I will not mention to to say, and I got a clear insight of what normally happens. Such that I neatly know I come to share it out, and we get to discuss and know what you expect at the end of it. Remember, to some companies, I told you, depending on what kind of magnitude, some delivery companies have employees that have work what you call different shifts you have those that are working in the morning shifts uh, depending and that those that are working after after afternoon shift and it will depend maybe those working nine hours depending on the contract you have with that company that those working what we call 12 hours nine hours but mostly the delivery companies i think here in Qatar they work 12 hours for people that will tend to agree with me we, we now we are looking at the general, we are not looking at partially per individual. So let us take at least what we call 12 hours, that each delivery, delivery person works for 20 hours. How does this person earn? Remember, when this company is recruiting you, it will tell you it is giving you what we call a basic salary. So that basic salary we are talking about, let's say for example that salary is going to be, uh, I'm giving an example, it's going to be 2,000 as the basic salary. But remember, there is what we call commission or there is what we call delivery fee. That every time you get to deliver an order that is passed on to you, there is an amount of money that will be given. That all comes in the contract. That's why I always keep on telling you, you should be very vigilant with the contract that you sign. You should read and understand whatever you have to sign at the time. Remember, when you come to these delivery companies, they will give you, some delivery companies will give you the bike, some will, they will definitely have to give you what you call a mobile. And if you're using a car, they will definitely give you fuel, a company fuel um, at a time. So, but today's video, we want to see how does it work out and how does this delivery people or this delivery uh, uh, workers get to meet up such that at the end of it all, they have bigger than what they expect or you have lower than what you expect. Now, we look at this company, is recruiting you. It will tell you it is giving you a basic salary of let's say 2,000 Qatarian as your basic salary. But remember, you are delivering to different clients and not monetized, you're not monitored by you, by, by your boss or your supervisor. 
but they definitely need to know that you are working and you are delivered. So what happens, they will tell you that each delivery that you will make to a client or each order that you make and you deliver to its final destination, you will get for Kataria. I'm giving an example. So that means if in a day you deliver 100 deliveries, so 100 times 4 Katarial, that means that day you've already made 400 Katarials. Oh, you've already made 400 dirhams. in case they're giving you that amount of money. But remember, there is a situation where you need to fulfill a target. Remember? Each one or each one is given a target to fulfill in that particular month. It will all depend on what is the consumption in that month. So they will give you a target. Let's say for example, they will say in the month of Ramadan or in the month of Ramadan, you are supposed to deliver your target for the full 30 days should be 350 deliveries. So what does it mean in that case? If you do not make up to 350 deliveries, that means you do not earn the basic salary of 2000. What will be your what will be your monthly salary that time? Your monthly salary will be calculated using the deliveries, the number of deliveries you made in that particular month times the rate per order you deliver that will be your salary meaning that at that time you do not what you do not get the basic salary so that's where the calculation of the salary may came into a little bit in balance so meaning that your salary will be less but if you get to meet up your target if you get to meet up your target that is given to you at that particular month let's say for example you're given a target to meet which is 350 deliveries that month and you make up 400 deliveries at that month so they will calculate how much orders you've delivered to the client then multiply them by the rate let's say for example you made 100 orders 100 orders and you told to deliver them so they will multiply by, by by the four which is 400 so when you get 400 times 400 plus your basic salary, then you get up the salary at the end of the month. I think I, I'm getting a little bit, I, I think I got it right the way they were explaining to me. So what, what is the main core? The main core importance, what is your main thing as a delivery person, if you're going to go to that job that you need to do? It is to make sure you meet up the targets that are given to you. If they give you the targets of delivering 350 orders, a day that means you need to work so hard to see that you either deliver that actual amount of money to stay in the system or to be able to earn your orders delivered plus your basic salary or deliver more than that to earn more money if you deliver less if you make more or less orders that means you will not be entitled to your basic salary. I'm giving an example of one company that I'm not going to mention. So that means if you get, if you deliver less orders, you are not going to get your basic salary, but you will only get the order money. Uh, that is the order money times per the rate that you're supposed to deliver and get at that time. Hope I'm trying to share out something. By the way, if it is your first time to come across this channel, remember it's makes from the next question. Don't remember, don't forget to subscribe, hit on the last plus subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. You'll always be updated when I upload a new video. Don't forget to put a comment. I'll always be more than happy to get back to you. So let's try to, to, to mean. So the main important is the main importance is for you to meet up the dark targets that are being given to you that month so that you can get the whole money plus your basic salary at that month. This is one way of motivating people to work so hard and to get out of the resonance for people to hide, people to do, to abscond in any way. No, it is one way to make people to work hard. That's why you find them, them working so hard. Someone will tell you, I delivered 5,000. I delivered 500 orders per day today. 
and you may be wondering is it possible yes it is possible i think i've tried to share with you the kind of mathematics they use at that time by the way something still you need to know like for example let's say for example someone is going to deliver 350 orders a day that is per per, per, per what per the requirement or per the target what does this person need to do if this person he needs to he needs or she if this person knows that at the end of the month i should have achieved this target what is this person going to do this person is going to get 350 orders that are being told to deliver oh he is mandated to deliver then he will divide by the number of days let's say for example this month has 30 days so if you get 350 divide by 30 that means each day your maximum delivery should be 12 12 orders to deliver to make sure that you meet up the target of 350 i hope we are trying to be on the same page so what does it mean if you can achieve that let's say for example if every day you can make 15 15 to 20 orders at the end of it all at the end of the month what orders do you have you have more orders so when you get those more orders times the rate at which each order is paid then you plus your basic that you are supposed to get you end up yourself maybe having bigger amount of money let's say for example five thousand and above that's why some people would say i got five thousand and someone would be shocked how can a delivery person get five thousand so definitely the trick is behind that and that is the small trick they use so when you go there first of all what you need to put in your mind what you need to put in your mind is, is that i have to work i have to work to earn more and i have to make sure i'm one person who meets up what you call the targets who meets up the targets or even who goes beyond what is being asked me to deliver how do you do it? It's really serious, being strategic at one way or the other. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you so much for watching videos to this channel. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation TV. By the way, don't forget to support this channel. Remember, we are looking at that road to 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. See you again in the next.